we're gonna go over the transmission controller that I designed for this Ford Falcon. <laughs> So, Mega Squirt 3 box connector from my original training controller. Pulled uh, Nitrous 1, Nitrous 2, and then the main injector drivers 1 and 2 to drive the EPC and torque converter lockup. Nitrous 1 and 2 just drive the two shift solenoids. Um, I had to add a small uh, power resistor. Uh, I think it's like a 4 ohm. Um, I think it's 4 ohm, 50 watt, just to reduce the current, give me more range on the PWM output to get better uh, resolution on the line, or the, yeah. get better resolution on the EPC. Um, still kind of steppy, but I think I have a fix for that. All right, just real quick, I want to go over my old training controller and what's changed from this to the current setup. So this was what I was originally running. It's a Mega Squirt 2 with a printed circuit board that I designed along with just a plastic case to put it in. So it's pretty simple. It's just a Pickaxe 20X2, which is just a PIC microcontroller uh, written with some assembly or with some uh, basic stamp language. And the board's pretty basic layout here. I have four uh, transistor setups across the bottom here have uh, two Darlington pair and then some um, tip 125s I believe are the other ones so uh, line pressure torque over lockup and two shift solenoids is how that worked all right you do a morning start drive it see what happens <laughs>
minimum speed at 0% throttle and a maximum speed at 100% throttle. So that's going to get you uh, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, and then 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1. And then all your, your torque reversal lockups can be the same thing for 1, 2, and, or 2, 3, and 4.